Taking the log of both sides of the first equation, we get ln a times ln ax, which using properties of logarithms can be written as ln a plus ln x, is equal to, on the right hand side, ln b times ln by, and ln by can be replaced with ln b plus ln y. Let's call this equation 1. Similarly, take the log of both sides of the second equation, we get ln x times ln b is equal to ln y times ln a. Let's call this equation 2. From equation 2, we get ln x is equal to ln a upon ln b times ln y. Substitute this in equation 1. We get ln a multiplied by in brackets ln a plus ln a times ln y upon ln b is equal to ln b times in brackets ln b plus ln y. This implies that ln a whole square multiplied by in brackets 1 plus ln y upon ln b is equal to ln b whole square plus ln b times ln y. Now collecting all terms involving ln y, we get ln y times in brackets ln a whole square upon ln b minus ln b is equal to ln b whole square minus ln a whole square. This implies that ln y times in brackets ln a whole square minus ln b whole square divided by ln b is equal to ln b whole square minus ln a whole square. ln a whole square minus ln b whole square cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side leaving us with minus 1 on the right hand side and therefore ln y is equal to minus ln b which is equal to ln of b raised to the power minus 1 which implies that y is equal to 1 upon b. Now ln x is equal to ln a upon ln b times ln y. Substituting the value of y obtained above we get ln x is equal to ln a upon ln b times minus ln b and therefore ln x is equal to minus ln a which implies that x is equal to a inverse which is equal to 1 upon a. Therefore the solution of the given system of equations is x is equal to 1 upon a, y is equal to 1 upon b and this is the required answer.